And this video, we're running it back with the HRM9 here at Model for 3 Season 3. This submachine gun is great if you're trying to run and gun. A lot of people like to use it in Warzone. I like to use it in multiplayer. So if you guys enjoy, feel free to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications. Let's go ahead and build the class setup. All right, let's get busy with the new absolute best and fastest killing HRM9 class setup. This SMG is this disgusting here in modern warfare 3 season 3 definitely don't sleep on it now for the first attack we're starting off with a muzzle and we're rocking the compensated flash hider a fantastic attachment on all smgs here bumping up that vertical recoil control horizontal recoil control firing with stability and taking us off the radar for a short period of time if you want a setup that you can get behind the spawn and terrorize the enemy team this is the attachment to have equipped on your hrm9 setup now we are not gonna run a barrel on this build. Sometimes we rock the Thorn 90 long barrel over feeling frisky and wanna go ahead and turn this into the growl from MW 2019. We'd rock the Princeps long barrel. This time we're skipping over this, but we are gonna run an under barrel. And because we are not running a barrel, we have to equip the X10 Phantom 5 hand stop, which is gonna be a nice attachment, improving that gun kick control, vertical recoil control, as well as aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed. This is gonna be a max mobility HRM9 build you can still use at those medium to longer ranges. Now, we are gonna run ammunition here. We're gonna be rocking the high green rounds just to help the swap out a little bit more at those medium longer ranges because we are not running a barrel. This is gonna be a good attachment. It isn't really gonna impact that recoil performance a lot, but we are taking advantage of more bullet velocity and damage range, which is gonna be quite nice without having the cons of the slower handling, which is going to happen if you do run the barrel. So give the high grain rounds a try. Now, because this weapon does have a pretty substantial fire rate, it's nice, especially for something we're going to be running and gunning with. I do recommend running the 50 round drum just so we never run out of ammo and we can very easily take out more than one player at the same time. You're going to need all 50 bullets, especially if you're trying to rush. And then finally, we are going to be rocking a stock and I recommend running the folding stock here. This is going to be the only attached we're going to be running that's going to be technically slowing down the ADS a little bit. This is going to be giving us increased recoil control, gun kick control, and firing instability. We definitely need this because we are running ammunition that's going to be taken away from that just slightly. Once we jump into the firing range, you're going to see this is going to be a very, very respectable build because we have great mobility, a very fast ADS. And overall, it is going to be controllable, especially if you are running and gunning with the submachine gun. And that's exactly what it is used for. For the remainder of the setup, we are rocking the Core 45 with its conversion kit. The Core and the Renetti are still the best secondaries in the entire game. I will have an updated Renetti video out tomorrow after its nerf. It's still good, but we are rocking the conversion kit here. We have the 40 round drum. We are rocking the SO Skeletal Vertical Grip. We have the Colossus Suppressor XS version for more recoil control, and we are utilizing the XRK Dynamic Precision Stock, which is going to be nice here, courtesy of the conversion kit, bumping up gun kick control as well as recoil control. Now, we are running munitions box, scavenger gloves, covert sneakers, bone conduction headset, ghost TV camera to keep us off that radar, and the comms vest, which is brilliant, acting like a 24-7 UAV. Every time you kill somebody, run over the body, they're letting you know exactly where other players are at do not sleep on the hrm9 it is a great submachine gun i know for a fact a lot of you guys can tear it up with this class setup but if you guys do feel free drop a like on the vid subscribe to the channel turn on post notifications let's go ahead and get into the gameplays and by the way if you need help leveling up your weapons but don't have enough time to play brown magician is your solution from unlocking all your attachments to getting gilded and interstellar camo they offer legit services on modern for two as well as three check them out down in the description Let's get busy with the HRM9. This is hard meta in Warzone as well as Modern Warfare 3. Oh my god. I'm praying nobody's behind me. Got him. Some boys running the SVA. <gasps> Go, oh, baby. Ooh.
Can we get a UAV? Please? There's more down there. It's all jet. Oh my god, they're behind me. Enemies inside the perimeter. Hostile UAV in the area. Uh, my teammate does not have on ghost. We're please have on ghost, bro. Got a mortar. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Are you? Oh my God, what the fuck was that? Beyond confused. Confirming next hard point. Stamp. I can't do anything. It's been good for you. I'll see you at this time. Target area updated. Move to the hard point. Hard point compromised. Secure the area. Dude, that was actually insane. Literally. That was actually insane. He got a hit marker dude what did he have oh my god he got a hit mark with a lock he got a lock with hit mark bro i am so unbelievably lucky i think it happened twice dude i should be dead dead ass i should be dead i 100 should be dead get a flank I knew there'd be somebody behind. Target area updated. Move to the hard point. Hard point compromised. Secure the area. You're halfway to the plate. Finish it. Enemies inside the perimeter. Hostile guardian has been deployed. A guardian? I'm dead. Yeah. <laughs> Why the fuck would like there was a stun nate bro? I dude I was I was tearing this lobby up though. We can we can have we can potentially get a double one hundred percent.
the perimeter. Hard point compromised. Secure the area. Rotate this way. And advance again. Dude, how do I have an EMP up and I'm still getting jammed by whatever the bullshit they have that requires no kills to get? That's what I don't understand. Like, bro, what is the point of running the EMP if I'm just going to be jammed by some bullshit equipment that takes no skill to even use? Like, hello? This is such a shitty... Yay, we got it. Oh, baby. Got a double nuke. Yeah, we've... Oh, my God. That was a nasty lobby. That was a, it's a good one, y'all. That was a good one. That was a beauty. Let's go, baby. Double nuke, and we got like a 50 as well. That's gas. All right, let's get busy on emergency with the HRM9. This is actually a really, really good map if you're trying to run a gun. You have to be somewhat careful, Ooh. but it is a pretty good map. All that kid is running around sniping. Wait. Oh my God. What? 
What the hell are these spawns? I'm dead. Wait, I have an EMP. I wonder if it not. I, I'm praying it actually knocks out the mosquito. I actually don't think it knocks out the mosquito drone. That shit better, it better be gone. Spawns are literally horrible. Taking fire. Hard point compromised. Secure the area. I'm gonna call it in. Solid copy. Longbow three one on station. Get Confirming next hard point. Stand by. Oh God. Picked up this kid's intervention and went crazy with this. I I literally picked up that kid's intervention and, and went stupid. Yo, these spawns are shocked too. Take this way. Hard point compromised. Secure the area. Confirming next hard point. Stand by. Friendly UAV online. Inside the Advanced UAV is authorized. Advanced. Okay. Is ready for 
deployment. I wish I had a sniper right now. God bless. But it's not. Load. I literally feel like I'm playing Dude, I literally died because they spawned three people in front of me. Look at that, bro. He's he he literally he got this weapon while he spawned. I literally, I literally feel like I was playing season zero with the an overkill sniper class setup. That actually was such a gas time though. Oh my god, the overkill sniping was the that was the move. It doesn't work no more because of how slow the lobbies are now, but I do got kills. Shit. That was another badass game.